Glad you are with us again. You know, uh, the purpose of the refresh sessions is not to say things that you haven't heard before. It isn't to um, titillate your ears with, you know, fanciful, novel things, but it's rather to say things you have heard already, things that need to get past our head, past our just our consciousness, past our intellect, and find a place uh, in our heart and, and even deep in our heart. And that takes repetition. And so uh, the refresh sessions each week are for the purpose of helping us get these things uh, from the Word of God deep in our heart. This is refresh session number three. Today's Friday, September 11th. I'm Pastor Steve Green. We're talking about endurance and how faith has endurance. Uh, in Hebrews 10:38, the just shall live by faith. And this obedient faith, as we've been studying, gives great reward. It gives the life of God. It gives entrance into the rest of God. It, it gives us an entrance into the promised land. Praise God. Now faith, we mentioned yesterday we were just on the cusp of Hebrews 11. So Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Uh, substance means basis or grounds or reason. So faith, obedient faith, is the reason we can have hope. In other words, there's a supernatural hope that springs up in our heart when in our heart we know that we are doing what the Lord has asked us to do. It, it is just a product, a spiritual product. Just like we in church we spoke about a chemical reaction, hydrogen and oxygen, gases at room temperature. In chemical reaction they produce a liquid at room temperature which is of course water. Something completely different. When we combine faith with the Word of God there's something uh, that springs up seemingly out of nowhere and that is the life of God on the inside of us. So obedient faith gives us a confident expectation of good in our life. It's, it's optimism. We get to live life with optimism. Uh, in 11.2 it says, for, faith gave, for by faith the elders obtained a good testimony. There's something else we get from faith when we're, as we're going through our life and when we get to the end of our life, we will have a good testimony because of obedient faith. In, in Hebrews 11 verse 7, it speaks of Noah who was moved with godly fear. He prepared an ark. He obeyed God. It took him a hundred years, but it saved his household. Praise God. Uh, faith gives us wonderful things. In Hebrews 11, 8, by faith Abraham obeyed when he called to go out to a place which he would receive as an inheritance. In verse 6, just prior to the two verses we just read, the writer says, without faith it's impossible to please him, uh, for he who comes to God must believe, this is the kind of faith he's talking about, the f must believe that he is and believe that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So as we have faith in him and obey him, which is diligently seeking Him, there will be a reward. So we're just listing the many good things that come to those that have faith, and in particular, faith with endurance. Glory to God. There's the reward, life, entrance into His rest, a confident expectation of good, a good testimony, reward is emphasized again in Hebrews 12 and verse 1. Therefore, he's just finished with the list of uh, the elders in chapter 11, now chapter 12 and verse 1. Therefore, we also, just like these elders, since uh, we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, which are the elders. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us. And rather than sin, let us do what the Lord has asked us to do. In other words, follow the words of Jesus. Let us run with endurance. There's the word again, hupomane, the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who had faith before, who had endurance before we did. It says, for the joy that set, was set before him he endured the cross. Hupomeno, the, the verb of hupomane. So what was the result of endurance in the life of Jesus? There was great joy and there's joy that comes to us also. Now no chastening, Hebrews 12, 11, seems to be joyful for the present but painful. Nevertheless, afterward it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness. It's not joyful for the present but it's joyful later. Joy is part of the peaceable fruit of righteousness. It's to those that, and, and we're trained uh, by, by this chastening. So obedient faith brings peaceable fruit. Uh, obedient faith brings joy to our lives. Praise God. Thank you again for joining us. We are talking about the things that make for the kind of life that we all aspire to. Praise the Lord. We'll see you next time.